Okay, so the other day I started some work on the garden shed to actually get some guttering done and attached to it. Um, I managed to get the gutter in for free, well the majority of it except for a few clips and a few corner pieces. Now that was a, a tricky job, now I've saved the best for last which is to try and retrofit some modern um, square guttering onto my greenhouse. Now I must confess I have no idea if I'll be able to do this because it was not designed for it as there's no way for me to screw the new brackets onto. However, you know, I've got to always give things a go so hopefully in this video I'll be able to get that done. But then again I suppose if I'm not, I probably won't even post this anyway. Or will I? Okay, so let me start off by showing you what I'm working with. I've come to the far side of the greenhouse, which is quite cramped, but I'm now very grateful that I actually did leave some space for me to be able to walk around, um, which um, I, f I figured would have been a good idea if I needed to do any repairs and so on. So what we're working with is a very old, very brittle and thin and a lot smaller um, guttering system which unfortunately is shot to pieces and is not usable. I did try to reuse it, but there were pieces that were missing and it was all warped and bent out of shape. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the guttering um, that came with the greenhouse. Um, some of the end panels were actually missing. So the bit that's meant to go on here to stop the water running off this way is missing. Like I said, it's so brittle that as soon as I try to bend it, it snaps. Um, so yeah, it's not really fit for purpose. I'm not able to get any downpipe and around the back section going across um, I have no um, guttering for it. So the water is not then able to run all the way around uh, to the other side. So I did try to look online to see if I could get some replacement, but I didn't find anything that could fit. Um, there might well be stuff out there, but I don't have the time nor the money or the patience to go tracking it down so I figured it would be best for me to just literally replace it or at least try before um, trying to get a new one. So what I've been trying to do is to actually remove these bolts which hold um, the brackets um, onto the side of the greenhouse and somehow I'm going to try and replace that with some of the more modern ones. Um, that's the idea anyway. So there's four on each side so there's one there, two in the middle and one at the end. Um, and I need to remove these. Oh, let me try and squeeze in here so that I can take this section off. Um, so this is what the other end looks like. And then it's gonna thread across there into that um, bracket over there before making its way around to the other side, which I'll try and um, see if I can squeeze around. So we're back on the other side, guys. And I've already started taking the screws out of um, this section where you can see there's no more um, bolts here and some of them were really really hard to get out so uh, yeah that was a bit of a challenge but I've managed to get all three of them out well four of them and what I've started doing already actually is retrofitting some of these square brackets on here now uh, so far so good I've somehow I've managed to actually get this on and what I had to do was to literally drill a hole into the top of this bracket with a large drill bit then simply put the bolt through before connecting it underneath with um, with the nut and then that's what's holding it on there. Now the only thing I'm concerned about is the fact that it's rest on the glass but hopefully that shouldn't be a problem and the plan is to put one here and one at the other end because I really don't want to try and doing that because I really don't want to try to do that in the other two holes. Uh, I think one at the beginning and one at the end should be enough um, in order to hold this piece of gutter in and so that's the idea now what I will have to do because I've realized that the square gutter in is actually um, too chunky to go against the side plus there's nothing to attach it with so what I will have to do is get it to protrude further than the actual greenhouse I don't know if you can see that and then the downpipe will simply come um, dropping down below that's the only way to get that on there so it won't really be supported unfortunately but I think that's probably the best thing that I can do in um, light of the situation. I've also got these corner pieces which will basically sit on the back um, around there to take it across. Now the only thing I'm going to struggle with is the fact that 
um, it's going to be really really difficult to get the drop that I need so it's meant to be at its highest point around there and then it gradually drops as it go around the side of the greenhouse before coming around to this side and this needs to be the lowest point now um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to achieve that just yet uh, but uh, where there's a will there is a way so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm trying to remove the screws around the other side and once I've done that I'll try and see whether or not I'll be able to drill some more holes in these brackets before threading uh, the gutter in all the way around so yeah no pressure so wish me luck guys um, as like I said this is going to be quite a challenge but if I'm able to do this it's going to be so worth it because then I'll be able to get some water coming off of the greenhouse as well as coming off of the, the shed and um, that's what we really want so that we can collect as much water as possible because no doubt this greenhouse is going to need a lot of water throughout the summer months so yeah let's see how we get on okay so in order to actually try and fit these brackets onto the greenhouse um, obviously they were never designed to fit on the greenhouse because normally what would happen is you'd put some screws through these holes which you can see here um, which would attach onto the shed or the building but a greenhouse is made out of glass so there's no way you're going to be drilling through um, in order to attach these so what I'm having to do instead is to reuse the holes on top of the greenhouse um, where the previous brackets were that were custom made for it um, and what I'm doing is putting a hole in the top I don't know if you can see here there's a little bit on the top here so I'm literally putting a hole there and um, that's big enough to fit one of these little greenhouse bolts now these little guys are exactly the same as what I've used to construct the greenhouse um, they come with a little nut with this little bolt now what I might have to do is try and get some bolts which are longer than these because these are quite short so I'm not sure how effective they'll be to go through the greenhouse as well as the bracket before being connected into these um, nuts however this is the only way that I think might be um, achievable in terms of attaching these brackets to the greenhouse so armed with the right size wooden drill bit I'm going to drill a hole through here just to show you what that looks like now it's a great idea to go nice and slow when you actually drill in this Yeah, so and that's the reason why you go nice and slow because the last thing you want is to go through and you end up cutting your hand with this drill. Ideally, if you've got a vise or something to hold this in so you wouldn't have to hold it with your hand, that would be best. But I haven't got one of those. Um, so going nice and slow, it doesn't take much to go through that thin bit of plastic. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's all we need to do. Make sure the hole is big enough. It's quite windy today, so apologies if you're struggling to hear a little bit. Um, so this is just going to sit underneath the greenhouse um, and then all I then do is put the bolt up, he says. Yep, all I then have to do is put the bolt protruding up through the hole, attach it to the greenhouse before um, putting one of these nuts on top and that should hold the bracket in place. Now the only thing that I'm going to struggle with doing is getting the drop around the greenhouse because I'm limited by the length of these bolts so what I might have to do is pop to the DIY shop um, which I need to do anyway to replace those end caps and see whether or not I'll be able to get slightly longer bolts to match this I'm not 100% sure I will be able to but at least try because then what I could do is to create some height difference using these washers so that the lowest part where the water would be running out hopefully will be much lower so I'm going to try and see if I can somehow fit this corner piece on the back side of the greenhouse um, I'm not sure how it's going to go if there's enough space challenge that we're facing now that I've managed to actually get the brackets on I'll show you this side because it's pretty much completed um, what it looks like don't mind the mess I will give this a clean once I'm done I didn't want to waste time cleaning it if it wasn't going to fit so I've got the nut here holding this bracket on so I've then managed to put the corner piece on which will take the water from over that side all the way here down this path and at the end there is where I'll be putting the downpipe. 
Um, so, so far so good. I've managed to get this one in. It's all locked in on there pretty strong. So the next stage will be to try and get another piece on the opposite side, which comes along this way. Now I suspect that I might have to have a bracket to connect the other side as the piece that I've got left might not be long enough. So yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, rather than having one long straight piece, I might end up with two um, shorter pieces on the opposite side. Um, but um, beggars can't be choosers, especially when you're getting the gutter in for free. So I'm gonna have to cut a section of this off around around here um, which is close to the greenhouse in order to put the downpipe coming down here so I'm going to cut it around here and then attach the, the downpipe section um, and once I've done that then I'll be able to have a downpipe coming down and hopefully put the water butt just below that Okay, so I've just put on the downpipe bracket section, um, which is looking good. Um, it's held on pretty strong, even though it's only been held together by this clip here. But this one's connected to the greenhouse, and then I had to make this protrude past because of this panel here on the front. I'll move this around so you can see it. So there's no way I'll be able to get this section past this little lip here so I've had to put it here typically what would happen you would have screwed screws through here to attach it to your shed or your building but that's not going to happen but for, for its purpose it's going to be more than strong enough um, given that a good wiggle it's not going anywhere um, especially when it's supported by a downpipe at a later date but I must say it is looking really really nice all things considered. Now what I will probably do at some point is to actually put some wire, um, strong enough wire cord or something through this hole, bring it underneath and tie a knot um, to just give a bit of support here. Um, rather than spending more money to buy more brackets, um, I think that will be more than adequate because like I said, it's not a very long stretch. So the weight isn't too much um, to bear once water starts pouring in there. Well he says um, hopefully the water will be able to pour in there without an issue i've tried to bring it as close as possible to the frame so as the water comes down on here it should hopefully fall in here now like i mentioned before the main challenge that i'm going to have is to get the drop from that side it's gradually getting lower as it runs behind before finally coming this way but um, i'm just going to put it all together and see how it works if the water does run then happy days if it sort of um, is too level and is at a standstill, then I will have to probably put some longer bolts and on this section to try and lower this bit so the water can flow downwards. But it's looking really good, guys. What do you think? I mean, not bad for retrofit. Um, I mean, it does need a good clean, but that's for a later date. Okay, so I'm gonna have to connect two shorter pieces together in order to uh, make uh, one that is long enough for the back or the other side of the greenhouse. Thankfully, I did get one of these connector brackets um, free from um, the roofer. So hopefully, once I've connected these two together, it will be long enough. Otherwise, um, I might have to get another connection block. Okay, now that these are connected, um, wish me luck. Hopefully it will be long enough for the other side. Okay, so I've got the last piece of gutter in for the back of... Thank you, Rooster, for the back of the greenhouse, which is um, going to be inserted. Hopefully I've cut it at the right length. Man, it's windy today. Got glorious sunshine, but the wind is quite strong. So once I've placed this last piece in, that will be it. Um, I'll simply then try and give it a test with some water to see how it travels. To be honest, it's pretty level from where I could see from before, so I'm not sure how the water will travel. 
nonetheless um, it's a proof of concept that it can actually work I could actually attach the gutter into the greenhouse so now it's just for me to get it completed and hopefully uh, get the levels right so here goes Okay, so um, it's all done now. I've managed to connect all of the pieces of guttering around the greenhouse. Um, but there's one particular section that needs some work, uh, which is dipped. And that's on the far side of the greenhouse where I managed to couple those two pieces together. So I'll show you what I mean. So right here in this section, um, you can see that it's bowed because there's nothing to support it in the middle. So I will have to um, either get a bracket, I'll try and see if I can get another bracket. Okay, so that's about uh, 70, 30 um, in terms of how efficient this is. I do need to get an end cap for that side of the um, greenhouse. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping that once enough water starts running through, it will make its way around as you can see here. So that's really, really promising actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and see if I can get the end cap which I need. And once I've gotten that end cap to stop the water from actually running out this end, it should help a lot um, with the trajectory of the water. And I do need to get a bracket for that middle section as it's not strong enough. But apart from that, I'm really, really happy with how it is so far. The back seems pretty solid, running along the back. And there's clearly water coming through here. I just need a water butt and a downpipe attached. Um, happy days. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave this video here. Please stick around for part two of this, where I will be installing the downpipe and the water butt, which we recently acquired. As always, this is Ken Rosane. I'll see you when you see me. Take care.